Maps in DC Inc. are all very different from each other, and playing on each of them feels very fun. But which map is the best? The idea of this video was suggested by one of my viewers, and it looked very interesting to me. As a disclaimer, I want to say that this is obviously based on my opinion, and after this video you can comment on which map you like the most. I made a set of awards I will give to those maps near the end of the video. To rate the maps, we need a clear criteria of what makes a good map. Here's what I came up with. The aesthetics of the map, the spy vibes it gives, and the gameplay or how fun it's to play on it. The first two are pretty self-explanatory, but what about the third one? By spy vibes, I mean how much it makes you feel like a cool spy, with all the secret pathways and iconic locations. Now, when we figured out the criteria, let's begin with our first map, Silver Reef. Silver Reef is aesthetically a great map. It was the first map I ever played back in Alpha, and I didn't even realize it was Underwater Hotel until... Well... The game release. <laughs> this is just a giant aquarium, I guess. It reminds me of my Minecraft houses from 2018. <laughs> the fact that we have to spy in the Crusty Crops, and even here we have water underwater. It's just peak of spying. It's on a map that has two very similar twins, so... That's a point, I guess? The map is very bright and colorful, with which part of the map looking different and unique. There is one section of the map which is not popular. This basement, which has one staff room. And that's it. Playing on Sylvie Reef feels like a Black Friday. The corridors are very narrow and the map is overall very small. Usually, a game on Silver Reef is very fast with all terminals being unlocked in the matter of seconds. Or it becomes a house. Don't worry friends, they're just asleep. The location of the briefcase is your typical competitive level design, but you know, it's good. Three rooms that are each identical in the structure, not in decorations of course. For evacuation, the balcony can be very useful if you got ambushed, but it's really not that hard to camp the room, as you have to take a long walk in those corridors. And it's obvious from where you will come from. Between the corridors, both sides have their med stations, so nobody's at worst. However, escaping in Silver Reef is nearly impossible without a fight. It's just because the map is so small and you can travel from one evacuation point to another in a matter of seconds. So, this map is really not that good if you're trying a pacifist run. Silver Reef has a lot of secret pathways, which are mostly useful. Uh, they really help to solve a problem of small and narrow map and make you feel like a real spy. This is my favorite clip related to the secret paths. Overall, Silver Reef is a very base map and makes you feel like a true spy. Heart Cellar reminds me of old spy movies, a huge mansion of some rich guy with an extremely valuable item deep inside his mansion that you have to steal. This map is very dark in tone, but it only adds to the atmosphere. The secret pathways, however, not so much. They're often not as useful to me and sometimes are a bit... Holy shit! But this map's design is much better than you think. As we have a lot of normal stuff that could be used for some spying shenanigans. Using jump pad here is really fun, as it can get you to a bunch of balconies to get to guards room faster. The ability to walk on the roof is not that much useful, but can be fun and open windows near healing stations are very useful and atmospheric. Because of those windows, the healing stations have more than one entrance, but one of them will make you very suspicious. Great level design in my opinion. The vault itself is amazing. If someone aggressively runs to the vault, you can see him from every corner. And those vents that make you very sus but allow you to travel across three main entrances quickly is another example of great level design in my opinion. And when you escape, there are so many things to do if you're trying to trick your enemy. If you want to complete a pacifist run, I highly recommend this map as it's... It always works. Like what in actual fuck?
Diamond Spire is a good looking map, and I understand that it's supposed to look modern and all, but those offices kind of make me dislike the aesthetics of the map. Don't get me wrong, I think all the maps in the game look great, but since we're comparing them, you really have to say which one is a bit better and which one is a bit worse, and if I had to say which one is a bit worse, it would be Diamond Spire. Each floor acts as its own small map. If you were on the floor below the fight, no matter how fast you rush to the floor above you, the fight will be probably finished and the survival already escaped. Going down is less of a problem, but it makes you very suspicious. It's hard not to act suspicious on this map, if you want to get some action. Even the secret pathways are not so secret here. Uh... However, terminal rooms themselves are fun as some of them give you a good look at the map without anyone knowing you're watching. And I do have to mention the first floor. If you spawn on the first floor, then good luck, as it has so little intel and anyone can just watch you. This might seem like I hate Diamond Spire, but I assure you here, I don't. Diamond Spire plays much differently and I love playing on it too. It's just when I analyze it for ranking, it doesn't really sound that great. So what about the vault? The vault is honestly... Uh, yeah, this is the part which I actually don't like, like, actually. Look, if you stand here, I can see all three exits, and the distance you have to travel to leave the lab is so long, you'll probably get pinged before leaving unless you're playing Lars nor Madame Xiu. So I will know where you come from. You also have like zero healing stations because the only one is here, right behind me. And all the others are on the other side of the map. Leaving this without a good fight is almost impossible and there's always a bunch of bodies in this area. However, this kind of location is very fun if you play in teams. In solos, where getting 1v2 because of two people camping you kinda sucks. But with a team, it's actually fun to escape here. The evacuation points are maybe far from each other, but there is a route that connects all of them, and you can clearly see it here. Fragment Shores at first gave me questionable feelings, and I thought I wouldn't like the map as it's very open. However, aesthetically, this map is absolutely great. It's a highly detailed city. Every apartment has something in it, which makes it somewhat unique and interesting to walk around. Like, look at this roof. This looks great. The vault is probably my favorite in all of the maps. You get to enter the biggest building in the city and you can feel it. This building is epic and I absolutely love all the labs. I guess. Let's just call them purple rooms or something. All purple rooms look very cool and very unique. When I first entered this room, I legit stood there for a second like, damn. However, there are downsides of this map. Because it's so big, half of the areas are not even used. Like, what the fuck is this for? It has a lot of good gameplay factors of previous maps, like opened windows for easy access, and one room where you can take a shortcut with jump pad, but the map itself is so open. If you're in a fight, you can't really hide here or escape before someone sees you. Some areas are so open it just feels weird, like there's absolutely no places to hide from bullets. And it definitely makes third partying much easier. And the final location with the briefcase is... Interesting? It really doesn't follow the same structure like other maps, which makes it much harder to watch out for other agents entering the room. Well, I guess that's kinda cool. This does help with escaping though, as you can choose the safest route and leave half of the building without any interactions. Does this map make you feel like a spy though? Yes? Sometimes because of all the active shootings this map makes you feel more like a hitman than a spy, but if the server is pretty calm, yeah? Scouting around the city to enter the main big building feels like a spy thing to me. This concludes my evaluations of the maps, so let's nominate the awards. Best aesthetically looking map is Fragment Shores. 
Best gameplay, hard sell, most spy vibes, silver reef, best map for teams, diamond spire, best map for solos, hard sell, most original map, silver reef, and the best map, I personally will have to give it to hard sell, with silver reef being somewhere very close. Hard sell is fun to play solo, it looks very cool, and the level design is amazing. Let me know in the comments which map you will nominate each award. And that's it for today. If you have any cool ideas for the videos, you can suggest them in the comments. I'll see you next time.